What's up guys? Welcome to Xeno Films. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a final wrap. Welcome and join me. Two thousand and twelve Hyundai Veloster. Uh, we're going to be taking this center piece from here, this blue center piece here. We're going to wrap it flat black. Um, reason for that is because it obviously needs paint work right there. Save some money on paint. We're going to wrap it. Here we go. So I didn't have this on video, but first thing I did was I sanded this rough area with four hundred grit sandpaper. It just dried. You don't really need water. Um, so now we're going to cut a piece of vinyl. Um, and then I have to clay bar this area. You want to make sure it's clean. And uh, after that, we'll wrap. So just spray it with some soap and water and whatnot. I use one of these sprayers I got from Ace. It's all pre-mixed in there. Spray it just for the clay bar to be able to run around smoothly. You don't need any wax or anything like that for this because it's such a small piece. Take a piece of clay. This one's been used, obviously. I'm going to use this side. It's cleaner. down again. Wiping the rag. Get some rubbing alcohol to get rid of any, any leftover wax and whatnot. So when you measure your piece to cut it out, make sure you have plenty of material. I measured mine to where it overhangs about two inches on the sides and uh, one inch on the top and bottom. You want to make sure you have enough. I don't have my hard card with me at the location I'm at now, but if you don't have one, you can take a, any kind of plastic hard card and just your regular shop towels, cut a piece, wrap it around and tape it down. Don't make it too thick because you still want to be able to use this corner to like tuck in all the edges and stuff over there. Um, very easy to do, even if you don't have one of these cards, you can use like a debit card or something. Just anything that's flat, just tape it down, no big deal. This just helps not scratch the material when you're installing it. To get the edges to stick very well, especially on older cards with older paint, I highly recommend this stuff. It's uh, you, you dip it, it's a liquid obviously. You just take it, tip of a napkin, dip it in there and then uh, put it on all the edges where you think it would be hard to stick. Drip in there a little bit. You can use a brush for this, I just don't have one right now. So you take it and I'll put it on all the edges where I want the vinyl to stick. Definitely on this bottom section here. Back up here this inner edge and on this top edge. That way you're just kind of guaranteeing that it's not going to peel up in the first six months of use or whatnot. And then I'm definitely recommending around all these bolt holes or screw holes. It just helps. Don't put any here. Um, it might react. That's if you have this. That's if you have the same situation I'm in with this one. But other than that, put it on. Let it sit for a minute or two, and uh, then you're ready to go install the vinyl. So since I don't have my camera mount or somebody to hold the camera, this is an easy way to do it by yourself. So you take, you peel the edge back like that. So you stick it and you hold it. And then as you peel the back, it kind of just goes to where it wants to go. That definitely that helps if you're alone if you're doing a small piece bigger pieces it doesn't always help I definitely wouldn't recommend this if you're wrapping a roof or something definitely try to find some help but just for a small piece like this and then you just want to flatten it out as much as you can again it's hard to do this with the camera in one hand
So because it's kind of cold where I'm at, this is your friend. Uh, this definitely helps. So I'm gonna do almost all of it and then uh, I'll show you guys what's next. So I got it all installed. I already tucked and trimmed this top edge. Um, heat helps for sure to get everything to tuck in there nicely and be hidden. When you do stuff like this, you wanna to try to find body lines and areas you can tuck in as much as possible because obviously you want it hidden. So now I'm gonna trim the rest and get it ready to be done. So now that everything is heated, all the edges, all the corners and everything. A little knife, I trim the inner holes right there for the license plate. Uh, some people don't trim them, they just put the screw in there and expect it to go in there cleanly. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it'll start rippling the film, it'll turn it and it'll, it just looks bad. Take two seconds and cut those out, don't be lazy. To wipe it down, you can either use some sort of spray wax or just the alcohol does the same thing, it cleans it up and it gets rid of all the grease on, from my fingers and stuff on top. And there you go. That is how you wrap that piece on a Veloster. Um, I recommend no car washes for about a week to let those edges really settle in. Um, if you have sun outside, definitely park it in front of the sun. And uh, thank you for joining me on this video. Like, share, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, see you on the next one.